Greetings, fellow test subjects. I am Vengeance. I am the Knight. I am Test Subject 1337, here for Aperture Gaming. They make it, we test it, you play them. And welcome to this late, but better late than ever, video review of Gotham Knights. This game came out in October, and I wanted to review it then, but some stuff happened, and that the review got delayed. But now I feel I have to review it now because of uh, the unfortunate news. If you haven't heard by now, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman, has passed away. Some sad news for all of us Batman fans. So at some point, if you can, t pause this video and let us have a moment of silence in honor of Kevin Conroy and all he contributed to the Batman animated universe. Okay, with that, let's uh, get to this review of the game. I'm sure it's been covered a lot by now, but this is my channel and I wanted to do this review along with another game, so here we go. Series. This game is, I guess, part of the Arkham universe. There were four other games, and I guess there's going to be, well, this game, there's going to be the Suicide Squad uh, kill the Justice League, so I guess it's tentatively within the same universe, part of the same similar series. Team. The team behind this game is Warner Brothers and Warner Brothers Montreal, Mo Montreal. so yeah. Plot. Alright, this game, because of the title, there is no Batman. Batman is no longer protecting Gotham, so it's up to the uh, Bat family to now take up the mantle of protecting the city. We have Tim Drake as Robin, we have Dick Grayson as Nightwing, we have Jason Todd as the Red Hood, and we have Barbara Gordon as Bat, as Batgirl. So these four, these four team up and have to go fight, across, fight crime across Gotham City, trying to unravel the mystery of a, uh, of a, uh, is it after Batman is no longer with us? They have to figure out how did this all happen while untangling a, a untangling a series of mysteries because that's Batman. He, Batman's the world's greatest detective, and now it's their turn to take up that mantle. Gameplay controls. The controls are a little different than previous Batman games where there was like a jump button. The last few ones, this one, there's no real jump button except for like jumping over, mounting over items or jumping into stuff. So slightly different, but uh, and they've actually done a different thing with the uh, the detective vision. Instead of having it where it's on all the time and it's just walking skeletons, it does, it shows like a quick, like a brief moment and you have to like toggle it. It's push and it happens and you have to push it again. So I can it's a little different in the control layout, but it's pretty straightforward. Do this to grapple over here, do this to run, do this to punch, do this to dodge, do this to super hit. There's also control options and the way you traver traverse around the city is different than driving around in the Batmobile or the Batwing. So So while the controls are different, they are it is still equally fun to play. Graphics. As you can tell from the box, I got the PS5 edition for this game, and everything, it looks beautiful. The level of detail in the suits, the environment, it, it, the, the, the graphics have come so far. I know we, it's, it's amazing. We used to have the old retro stuff, which has kind of made a comeback. How some people, there's new games that have the old classic look and feel, but I like it when, but I, but I like how we have, it's still able to balance out with the new looks. Everything looks great. Audio. While Kevin Conroy is not the voice of Batman for this game, the audio work in the game is still pretty good, from both the characters and the sound effects of the environment and the music. Everything just sounds really good. Multiplayer. One of the uh, selling points for this game is how you can game alone, but you have the ability to, to actually team up with people online, so there is multiplayer, yes. DLC. Yeah, so as you can see, I got the Deluxe Edition. It came with this little uh, light-up keychain. It's pretty awesome. And the Deluxe Edition, it came with a special code. When I put it in, it actually let me alter between two different types of the Bat Cycle, which is used by all four members of the, of the team. So yes, there is DLC. Uh, for that, it also came with uh, 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 new skins for the characters and some weapons. So yes, there is DLC, and I have the sneaky suspicion more DLC will come as the game as uh, time goes on for the game. 
so yeah. Issues. Alright, so while playing the game I didn't really have any issues, but this was kind of weird. Like when I first started out the game, after getting through the first area, I then had to go to some place on the bat cycle. And this is weird, I'm driving along and suddenly me and the bat cycle, we fall through the ground and we're falling to the underside of the world, looking up at it. It's like, whoa, weird. But then the game uh, reset back to the last checkpoint, and after that, I didn't have any issues any further. So, nothing really to write home about, but a little weird. Uh, I think it was because of the whole day one thing, so hopefully, by now, that patch has probably been patched and fixed, so hopefully. Buy, rent, or pass. Yeah, so if you've been a fan of the previous four Bat games, and if you're interested in the upcoming uh, Suicide Squad, then yes, I'd say that this game is a definitive buy. Overall score. Overall, I give Batman, I give, oh, sorry, I give Gotham Knights a solid 10 out of 10. It's a very enjoyable game, it's a great addition to the series, and I like it. I mean, you're not just going around and beating up people, you can also team up people online. There's, and of course, there's find the stuff. It's not like the whole Riddler trophy thing, but there is stuff hidden all around Gotham. So, so it's a great combination of combat, stealth, exploration, and the whole leveling up RPG system. It's a great game, and I look forward, and I look forward to continuing playing it. And I hope, if you haven't gotten the game by now, I hope uh, this helps persuade you. It helps with your decision to get the game. Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. I thank you for your patience. I apologize for how late this video was. Until next time, this has been Test Subject One Three Three Seven. Saying thank you for watching, and as always, I am the Knight. Thank you, Kevin Conroy, for all you've done. You will be missed.